what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue, and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine, and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much, and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Truly, this really is a quite wonderful stadium located here at the foot of the Alps. And already we're underway here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Coutinho. He's a, a real magician with a wand of a right foot. He's, he's gone for it! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Good ball. Coutinho needed to come up with a better ball. Uh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. And it's Danny Alves. Has a pop! Brazil have an early lead, good start, and it's played forward, Fernandinho, Philippe Coutinho, Fernandinho, Thiago Silva, Thiago Silva goes looking, forward it goes, Richarlison hits it! Stop. That wasn't easy. Richarlison is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. And the shot! It didn't come off, but an audacious effort. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort, and it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. It's being played forward. Away from immediate danger. Ecuador have it back, and they can go again. And through to the goalkeeper. Fernandinho. Brazil have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. It's one! That is absolutely glorious! A finish right from the top draw! 
Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. Nicely controlled. There are a few waiting for it. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Daniel Alves, quick ball forward. Hoists it high. Knocks it away. Danny Alves. Great leap! Goal! Brazil! And they're back in front! Brazil are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Hoists it forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Thiago Silva. And here's William. Driving on, he could shoot here. Cleared without complication. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Danny Alves. Arthur. Philippe Coutinho. Richarlison! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. A really good feat from him. Looking for a decent ball in. Goes for the cross. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Philippe Coutinho. And here's Coutinho. Alexandro has come steaming up from the back for this. Whistle goes for half time. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals. And I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. 
Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. So off we go once more. Ecuador need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Could be thinking about a shot here. A chance to play it in. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. to get it forward struck first time Arthur William forward it goes Richarlison plays it out to the wing Alexandro delivers and that's been lever clear and out to safety Fernandinho battles to win it back looks to clip it forward looks to play him in it's uh, a minor communications breakdown Fernandinho still they trail and time is ticking away Forward pass, Thiago Silva positions himself well and cuts it out. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Ecuador are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Tries to get it forward quickly. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. Shoots! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. He's had a go! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Drives it towards the front. And they've been caught out here. Massive leap! Oh, not the best of headers. Ecuador making another change here. That is a poor kick by the keeper, being intercepted. Played towards the front men. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Richarlison. Richarlison has a goal! Oh, taken with style! And there's the goal they've been looking for. 
perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. the changes then in quick succession yeah it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off his energy levels began to to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle brazil take a two goal lead and are looking good for the win arthur Arthur, Daniel Alves, knocks one in, has a hit, and that would have won it, he'll be fuming with himself for not diverting, he could have killed it off. for a change in personnel well he's worked so hard for his side uh, as you would expect but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to to labor a bit so it's no surprise Arthur Daniel Alves he's got options out wide lovely bit of skill Good challenge, he just stood firm. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. It's a loose ball. And helps available out wide. Just brushed off the ball there. Played it short. So who's he picking out? Marquinhos gets rid without sophistication. Pinged forward. Fence has got rid of that. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. And that has been clubbed away. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Ecuador puffed and puffed, but in the end, no joy. That's the game. The result is what matters, and this result is cruel. Your final thoughts,